Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Curly Q from CZT Diane Lachance. Now, this, love it, neat tangle, um, easy and, and, you know, <laughs> easy. <laughs> and is really nice, uh, nice looking. And I can see, um, in my head, uh, many uses for it. And also, if you look up, and I know I have a video on it, there's a tangle called Gray V, G R A dash V E E. And um, this would be wonderful paired with that. It's similar, similar in, in concept. So, oh, neat, neat, neat. All right. So, starting off with just a ginormous print hump big spiral. I would leave a nice amount of space in between your spirals. And that, of course, is up to you. <laughs> this, 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 this might be in the running for um, the quickiest quickie that I've done. All right, then. And you know what? You know, I, I was I went slow and made this really nice and straight. I'm gonna say, don't worry if it's not, if it's you know if there's little uh, jiggly lines here and there because the next step is I'm gonna start where I started, and I'm just gonna go looping to and fro, <laughs> just making a big wavy line, not thinking just doing and we'll end up right here that as I as I bump my table and the, everything shakes <laughs> that is it it is it's so neat and you almost forget that there's a big spiral in the center because when you when you just look at it you're like wow look at how hmm that's neat how do you do that now I'm gonna put some graph we're gonna do some shading and that's what I just love about this one is you know, forget that there's a spiral in there. And that's why I say you don't have to, don't worry if your initial spiral isn't that great. You know, what you do after and then how you uh, embellish or decorate it, it's not going to matter. So it exemplifies that part of, uh, that is Zentangle where, you know, don't worry about the outcome, just do the step to the best that you can and go from there. All right. Now, one thing I'm going to do, well, let's see, because I want to put the tip of the tortillon on the graphite and then I'm doing, as you can see, just a back and forth motion. So that's why I'm kind of jumping around and doing only some, and then I'm going to turn my tile. So that way it's not making anybody dizzy and turning it constantly. I'm going to do my best <laughs> to not do that. And so I just, as you saw, I put just a little bit of graphite at the end, each end, and kind of treating this like I would seed shapes. Because, you know, if you look at them, they kind of look like seed shapes. And just bringing the graphite in just a little bit. Yeah, let's lean to this. Uh, and, you know, and, and sometimes doing it this way is a fun game. It's <laughs> Why do everyone in order when you can, you know, do them out of order? <laughs> That's a completely up to you thing, though. Then it becomes a seek and find. And, you know, you can have a lot of fun with this. In my step out, I decided that, you know, this could also become a reticula, which means um, a structure in which, you know, you can put other tangles. And so that's what I did in my, um, in the last box of my step out is I, I put some orbs in every other one. And so that way it could kind of look like a ribbon turning. So to have fun with this, you could do something every other one or maybe a little darker um, and then lighter. So like as if it's a ribbon, you know, twisting and because that's what it looks like. But um, 
up to you. Yeah, you can totally have fun with, with tangles in there or, you know, add color. It's nice to have this shine in there uh, because it just, uh, it adds an extra dimension because we have the twisty by the nature of it, but then this we have, you know, bendy, bendy and twisty. There we go. All right. <laughs> so as I said, super neat tangle. Um, I love the simplicity. I love the fact that, you know, it, that, uh, yeah, it's just, just easy. And, you know, if, if you have shaky hands, don't worry about it. You know, if your initial uh, spiral isn't perfect, don't worry about it. Um, because you're just going to, you know, mess it up with the last step anyway. So it's all, it's all good. <laughs> so, all right. Um. And that's sometimes just how I like to look at things. <laughs> All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, would love to have you click uh, like. Feel free to share it, leave comments. And if you liked it enough or you liked me enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. In the description section, links to step outs. I always do my own version. And then link uh, the for more inspiration link is to the originator of the tangle so you will see those there and below that link to my website so if you want to connect um, if you want to uh, i do online sessions and tangle sessions um, almost twice a week and uh, i do them tuesdays and thursdays my time i do two sessions each each uh each day uh there's one tuesday that i don't do on tuesday um, most of them those are are paid or uh are for our Tangle Addicts Club members. The information for that oop, also is on my website. I'm talking with um, Bijou tiles in my hand and one escaped. Um, so I, I have uh, just a number of resources. A lot. Thursday is free. So um, come join us. We'll, we, you know, take a tangle, have fun with it. And uh, in an hour's time, and it's, it's, it's really fun. Same tangle, both sessions. Uh, and it's just, it's absolutely amazing. So come join us. Let's see, below that, if you happen to be on Facebook and want to tangle with a, <laughs> with a bunch of other crazy tangle addicts, we would love to have you. And um, yeah, come join us at the asylum. No, I'm just kidding. No, we do have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun at the classes. We have a lot of fun. Um, and we just like to, um, I know most everybody likes to comment and just see what other people do. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just we want to celebrate that you're doing it. And that's all there is. Um, so with that, thanks so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.